after removing this water shield you can see this right here and let me show you where the water is coming from uh, okay you can turn on the water turning on the water now so you guys can see where it's coming from turn it harder more you see Let's see if we can get a bit of a picture oh my phone's not That's the best angle I can give you guys. But yeah, there's where my water leak is. I think that's a seal or something I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to take it out and see what, what it is. But yeah, if you take out the water shield, you go you go here on this side. You should see it. Okay. All right. All right, this was inside there. I took it off and then there was way more water coming out. So this is what's what's there uh, i think it wasn't in all the way i felt like it was supposed to like let's say go like this and this was kind of like this so there was water coming out so i think this is still good i'm, I'm not too sure it's my first time trying to replace this i know i there's oil going inside my water or water going inside the oil um so yeah i have to fix that problem but yeah i'm gonna try to push this back in and try to like push it inside it's just hard because there's no angle for me to put like a hammer or something to smash it in but i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what i can do but yeah this is where the water was coming from i thought i had a broken hose uh but i was looking and i couldn't find anything so i found out it was this bad boy all right and this is how it looks without the seal or the plug i don't know what it's called It turns out this thing is called a freeze plug. Uh, the reason mine broke or came out is because uh, my car, my truck has a leak, my water leak. So there was water coming out, but it was a small one. So I, I didn't put a engine coolant on it because it has a leak. And I live here in Houston, Texas, and there was a big uh, snowstorm or whatever you guys want to call it. And uh, it didn't have any, any, uh, any freeze on it, any engine coolant, any, antifreeze so what happened is the water that was inside froze and i think that's why this uh, freeze plug broke and as you can see it's impossible to put in uh without having to remove the engine uh so it, it's gonna be a really tough job to do but i i found out this plug it's easier to use uh like because with this one you, you're gonna need a, a hammer to like put it in and then hit it with the hammer so you can uh cover it Really? Really? I'm sorry. Right? The, the day I want to record a video, everything happens. Wow, they broke my trash can. Wow, oh, okay. So anyways, uh, they sell this, uh, it's like a aftermarket freeze plug or whatever, and you can use this uh, on tight spaces. So it's perfectly like in my case. Let me show you. I, I bought it at O'Reilly's this one right here it was, it's pretty cheap it was less than five dollars i think it was like 3.99 so i'm gonna try to put this one in there in, in, inside there and what you do is you just put it inside and then using a like a ratchet or whatever you can fit on it uh, you turn this and this is gonna expand the black stuff is gonna expand and it's gonna seal the hole so wish me luck guys hopefully this helps I know my truck is, has a lot of problems. I'm just gonna put this plug and probably just fix, uh, like sell it or something. I don't know. I'm having a lot of trouble with this truck. So all right, wish me luck. All right, I end up putting it inside. Uh, you can see it's right there. Uh, now I'm gonna use a ratchet to try to do it with that. I'm going to try to use electric ratchet. I'm gonna see if it fits, let me see. 
uh, it's gonna be hard. Uh, I'll see. Either use the electric ratchet or this ratchet. It's it's really hard for me to record this one, guys. I mean, it's I barely have enough room for one hand, so it's gonna be hard to record. But I'll let you guys know if I end up doing it with this one or the electric one. Thank you.